Hi guys, this is Alice again, back with another tutorial of AutoCAD series. In this tutorial, we're gonna have a look at offset command and a mirror command. I've got this object here, it's a room with a door. So I'll go and select the offset command. First, let's check our object is exploded. So we got offset command here in a modify panel. What I wanna do is, I wanna start the offset command by pressing O, enter, and as you can see that this command doesn't start by selecting an object instead it's asking us to specify the distance so what I want to do I want to apply an offset of 9 inch from this line to the left hand side so to show you what first I'm gonna delete one of the line I'm gonna delete this line delete this as well and then select an offset command specify a distance I go 9 enter and now it's asking us to select an object so I want to offset this line to 9 inch so I can select enter and and if, as you can see if I take my cursor to the left it makes the offset of 9 inch from that line to the left hand side if I take it to the right I'll I'll get the offset on the right hand side so it's all about which side you want to apply an offset so I click, I've got another line here, offset by 9 inch. So I can keep going, this command still on, I can keep applying offset as much as I want. So let's undo now. What I want to do now is I want to apply an offset by defining a distance graphically. So what I have to do is, let's say I have a distance here and I don't know about it. So I can still apply offset with the same distance by selecting graphically on your drawing area. So I go and select an offset command and it's as you can see the 9 inch is still there. It's because we previously applied 9 inch offset. So the AutoCAD remembers whatever the previous offset distance was. So you can always have to change. And now what I want to do, I want to select from here and perpendicular that so it actually took the distance between this line to this line and now I can apply offset as you can see that was the same distance because the distance was here a 9 inch so I got a 9 inch offset there's another thing you can do is I delete this line for now you can always go and measure the distance and apply by typing it so if I go and select and I want to see the distance between here so as you see, as you see, we got 9 inch distance here. So that was pretty much about offset command. Now let's have a look at the mirror command. So I've got a mirror command on a modify panel here. What it does basically, it reflects the object. So I want to make another room reflected to the left hand side. So to do that, what I have to do is I've got to make an offset of some, let's say 9 inch. There's another command called extend, I'll talk about it in later videos. I'll go and select that for now. I'll go and click this arrow, I've got extend command. What it does basically, it extends one object to the next object. So now it's asking me to select an object. I'll select this object and now enter and it's asking me extend to here. So I can extend both sides. So now what I have to do, I have to mirror this object. Let's go and draw a random object. Let's say that's my object, right? I want to mirror it to the right side. What I have to do is I've select the mirror command, select an object. And now once I select it, press enter. And then it's asking me the first point of the mirror line. So let's say if I go and select here, and I can turn on my auto by typing F8. What auto does is basically it keeps your cursor to the 90 degrees angle. You go to the left, it keeps your angle to the 0 degree, 90 on the top. If you go left, it goes to 180, so it's 4 angles in auto. So if we go straight up, as you can see that the object is not been mirrored on the right hand side. So it's basically, if I turn off my auto, it's basically what does, it's all about your selecting base point and selecting your second base point. 
So if I go on the top, I'll keep my polar on. So if I go on the top and I click, I've got a mirror object. So the next option it's asking me, do I want to erase the source object? So in this case, I don't want to erase that. So I click no. As you can see, I've got two objects now, one mirrored. So now let's go and make another room next to this one. So what I have to do is I have to, let's say I'll delete this line and now I'll select my mirror command, select the whole object, enter and now it's asking me to select the first point. So now to do that, what I have to do is I will select this midline and I go up. As you can see, I've got the, I don't want to erase the source object, no. So if I go up, as you can see, I've got the object mirrored to the left. So the mirror command is all about selecting a point and your second point. So just play around with this, you will get better eventually by the time. So that was it about, fill, about mirror and offset command. Alright guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video, follow along to my course and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching again.